Hello, <clears throat> this is Shamra again, and this is my third video that I'm making. Um, I received stem cells six months ago by Regenerative Medicine in Institute in Tijuana at the Hospital Angeles, and I have uh, I have not improved at all from my condition of cirrhosis of the liver that I've had for the past 12 years. I was told that all of their patients over the past two years did not need additional stem cells because the adipose stem cells are the strongest uh, stem cells and that they would be able to reach the threshold that my liver needed. I was told that um, I could. I was the actually the very first liver patient that they had, and I entered. I was willing to enter into their clinical trial, which lasts for about a year. And after six months, I uh, had it on October the 11th of 2011, um, and I received 155 million stem cells. 70% went into my liver and 30% <clears throat> went into my arm. And um, I was told that, that that was all that I would need because the stem cells were so strong and powerful that it would reach the threshold. And I was I would not have made this decision if I were not completely convinced um, that the $25,000 that I spent would heal my liver. Um, today has been a very difficult day. I usually don't start my day until about 2 o'clock because I have insomnia all night and I sleep in and uh, my immune system is very weak I don't have any energy I have brain fog um, because the liver clears out so many toxins that it is so difficult to think clearly and to formulate thoughts and to function so I'm not able to work um, and my, my eyes are always red and puffy, um, I'm very disappointed at the patient care or the lack of patient care that they have at, that they have not demonstrated, um, this Hospital Angeles is very state of the art and the rooms are big and beautiful but the the lack of communication at this time is really very poor. I'm still waiting to hear back from Dr. Javier Lopez. He tried contacting me um, towards the end of March, like for an entire week, we just kept missing each other. But after that, I did email him twice and I told him to keep trying to call me. And it's April the 7th and he has not tried to call me all this week or the week before that. So I'm hoping this message will get out to them and everybody else that if you're I was, I was very desperate. When you're sick, you're very desperate. And everything I thought had checked, checked out well that I was going to be like the other patients and do very well. But I really don't know the, the story of all of their patients. I really don't know if some of the other patients need to go back, but they can't afford it. They, 
in the very beginning I asked them if they would tell me um, if I needed more stem cells after six months or a year if they would give them to me and Dr. Jesus, Jesus Perez Dr. Perez said that you know we're unable to make that decision right now um, and I, that should have been a red flag to me. They should have been able to say yes or no. Like, no, like, if you do not improve, you're going to have to pay an additional $25,000. Or, yes, we will give you more stem cells if you show no improvement. They didn't give me any answer at all. They just kept saying, we will decide when the time comes. And I was so desperate that I took that risk and now I just feel like I've been ripped off and raked for everything that I don't have. I live with my parents. I don't have a car, I don't have a job, although I would love to be able to go back to work. The whole point was to get my liver regenerated so I can have a normal life. And um I just um, feel very crushed. I don't know what to do at this point. I uh, I just I just hope that my prayers are answered and that I can get a refund because I don't trust them at this point. They don't want to give me more stem cells and they don't want to refund me. They <clears throat> they just don't care. And on their website they say that they are the first <clears throat> to be accredited <clears throat> excuse me by the International Cellular, Cellular Medicine Society that they are the first ones to be accredited. Well who really knows what this society is? I went on their website, not Regenerative Medicine's website, but I went on the <clears throat> Institute for Cellular Medicine Society. There was nobody that I can talk to. Um, <clears throat> there was no pictures of anybody. So who, who gives the authority to this organization? We really don't know. And... Um, there really is no no mediator um, so I think that it's very dangerous to get stem cells in Tijuana if you don't if you don't have if you're not if you don't have a lot of money and not willing willing to throw away a lot of money then you're taking a very huge risk and um, <clears throat> So I would, in conclusion, I would just say that I'm very, very disappointed in the Regenerative Medicine Institute at Hospital Angeles in Tijuana, and um, I, it, it wasn't written on paper, but Dr. Perez kept saying me, kept telling me, you are going to get better, you are going to get better, I promise you, you are going to get better. But because that wasn't written down, then, you know, there's no way I can fight this, but to get the word out on the internet. <clears throat> and, um, I just, I really hope that this disastrous mistake uh, will will resolve itself so I don't feel this burden so heavy um, but if you want to contact me and you have any questions uh, my email is shamrahall at hotmail dot com I have nothing to hide uh, absolutely nothing and I'm sorry for being so tired. That's just the, the way it is. It's just my life. I'm 
I want a reason to live. <clears throat> I want hope. I want a reason to live. Uh, but at this point, I'm not sure what's going to happen. I have an autoimmune disease, and I do not tolerate pharmaceutical medicines. They give me very severe reactions. So liver transplant is a very dangerous procedure, and I could possibly not make it through. And I don't have a donor right now. So this is why I was hoping that the stem cells uh, would be the answer, but um, they're not at this time. You pay a very high price and get very little stem cells. That's the problem with stem cells. If you got them once a month from the next year, you could eventually be cured, but because they only give you X amount for thousands and thousands of dollars, it's never enough. I think everybody needs at least a billion. And I got 155 million. You just have to keep giving the stem cells until it reaches the threshold. And right now, the stem cell um, therapies are in its infancy. And so those of us who are desperate, we never get enough stem cells. Um, because we can't afford it. We would probably need a quarter of a million dollars or so to get the right amount, um, which is very unfortunate because we end up dying. Um, I'm still a liver transplant candidate, but I don't know what my, my future holds. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, so please take this to heart, and please, if you have any questions at all, I will be willing to respond. Um, just email me at shamrahall at hotmail.com. Um, and thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this, um, to listen to my story. Thank you so much.